Hey, what's up? It's Alec here from Profanity Instruments. Today I'm going to show you the Profanity Organ. <laughs> this is a drawbar style organ that I made because I needed something that was quick and dirty, that was lightweight enough for live performance, but had all that functionality of a real organ, and it kind of had to sound cool too. The interface, as you can see, is pretty much hideous. <laughs> I kind of threw it together for function, and then I kind of fell in love with the idea of a really ugly interface that was drawn in that classic paint app that we all know. But all the controls work, and they're there for a reason, so let me give you a quick overview of what you're looking at. On the main page, there are these nine drawbars, and these change the tonal character of the organ by bringing in or out different harmonics. I can make a very mellow, darker sort of sound. Or I can use the drawbars to make it sound much brighter and much more lush. Of course, these can be mapped to a MIDI controller for easier control than a live set. In fact, they're already mapped to most standard organ controllers, but they can easily be remapped in contact. We can drive the tube amp a little bit harder for a more aggressive kind of rock tone. We can move the mics a bit further away from the cabinet. And we can use a foot pedal or an expression control to change the volume as we play. On the left-hand side over here, we've got the rotary speed control, which is mapped to the mod wheel or the sustain pedal. And that's great for adding some movement to the sound. Gives it that classic kind of Leslie spinning speaker sound. There's also percussion and key click controls for changing the attack articulations. If I was just to get a, a mellower sound over here, I can go... The percussion adds that little bit of an accent at the beginning. Without it, it sounds a bit dull. It's actually a legato percussion, so it's only added to the first note of a legato run. So staccato parts can stick out a little bit more. Just like on a real Hammond organ, there are a bunch of hardwired presets available on these lower keys. You can easily jump backwards and forwards between them during a set, or even jump back to your own settings by using the B or the B flat keys. So let's have a listen to some of these presets. It's a very mellow kind of sound. It kind of sounds a bit more interesting. We've got a few more here. And some really full sounds. And we can jump back to the setting we had before by hitting the B flat or the B key. I made the presets only affect the draw bars and the percussion settings, so the other settings don't jump around too much during a show and it's a little bit more consistent. If we dive into the settings tab, there's a couple of extras we can play with, like using the vibrato chorus control to get a more exciting sound. And there's three different levels of vibrato and chorus. adds a little bit of extra modulation to the sound. Here you can also adjust how quickly the rotary speaker changes speed. You can enable traditional pitch bend, if you need it, and traditional sustain control. You can also make the percussion polyphonic so it plays on every note, and you can change the volume of the percussion tone. The built-in reverb also has two springs and two plate sounds so the organ doesn't sound too dry. You can also just turn that off if you're using your own reverb. So let's see if we can have some fun with this. I'm just going to change some settings here. Let's go for something along the lines of somewhere around there. Add a bit of drive to it. Mm -hmm. 